So actually, you know, the Africa as a, as a continent is very important to ICANN and it's very engaging. And of course, the South Africa as a destination is very accessible, uh, very easy just to fly in and great, you know, uh, facilities here. So that's why, you know, and with the numbers, we see a lot of local community, not only from South Africa, also from the entire region attended this meeting. Well, I should also say that this is not the first time ICANN is in Africa. This is, in fact, this is our third time here in, uh, in South Africa. And, um, but the importance here of this forum is that is what we call the policy forum. It's a different one, and this is the second time we are having this sort of meeting. Um, it's one which is much more substantial, meaning that's where we really put our supporting organization together. That's where we discuss you know, policy development. It's quite important that we are in Africa because, uh, well, Africa is also one of the contributors to the, to the ICANN. So definitely for us, it was a pleasure, also an, an honor for Africa uh, to be hosting this second you know, edition of uh, the Policy Forum. Issues about how to develop domain name systems for Africa actually is one of the most important discussions for me, specifically with regard to the, their development within Africa because uh, the domain name systems, except South Africa, still really, really at the early stages, if I may say. So the issue uh, around DNS, DNS abuse, DNS use for socioeconomic development, this is one, one of the things actually I was the most attractive to me. The ones that have resonated with me the most have been discussions on improved accountability and transparency of ICANN. Um, I happen to be a strong believer in uh, public interest and the need for us to manage resources uh, in that manner and therefore I have always thought that the accountability and cross-community working group activities were very important. This internet is the world. We call them the millennium. This is the world, you know. So the best way you really want this thing to be sustainable is to involve you know, your younger generation uh, because this thing is going to be this. Whatever we are doing today in terms of policy development about internet, because that's what ICANN does, we do the poli uh, you know, policy that you need to, so that internet you know, is one, is scalable, is interoperable. So that's what we are doing. But we also know that the future generation needs those things. So they need to, to get involved. And they are also the ones to be creating these this sort of you know, uh, uh, jobs. You know, the opportunities are there for it. Africa is growing and right now many more people are getting access to the internet so maybe two or th five years from now I know it will be much better than it is because if you compare five years ago where we were, we were definitely very far but we are now at a better place. Though there, we still have challenges of um, access, uh, the costs are still a bit high but I know that will improve with time.